guys, and welcome back to No Bland Makeup, where we do makeup and body paint tutorials, usually with a cosplay twist. And today, I'm doing football logos again. I know. Someday I'll get back into the cosplay thing. But, I figured I haven't body painted in a while, and this would be a really good place to start, because it's not my entire face. <laughs> figured you gotta start somewhere. And with the Super Bowl coming up, and all the issues with that, I figured let's throw something good in there. So I'm gonna start off with some dark blue body paint. I didn't actually have any, so I had to wind up mixing um, a sky blue that I had, um, and some black just to deepen it up. And what I'm basically just doing is starting to draw the outline for the horn. With logos like these, it's kind of easier to just not think of it as an entire picture, but like pieces of it. So kind of just think of drawing the lines and then the picture will come together and I swear to you that will make things so much easier. And for anyone who's curious how I clean up my steaks, I literally just take some micellar water on a q-tip or um, water on a paper towel, depending on what I'm doing, and that basically just cleans it up. Now I'm going to go back in with some more of that dark blue body paint and basically finish um, kind of sketching out the body and kind of the inner part of the ram, I guess. Yeah, kind of, because I'll be doing more detail work with the white later. Um, this one's going to be similar to um, the Ravens logo that I did a while ago and the Eagles logo where you kind of have to do it in section. Um, I'm saying um so much. <laughs> I haven't done this in a while. And speaking of white body paint, I'm gonna go ahead and take some of that and start working on the actual horn. Now, if you're wondering why my camera is focused in on my hand, I have no idea. I got a new camera, as you guys can probably tell. Um, so that's why the, the lighting in a few of these videos are gonna look a little weird, but I didn't know that it was doing that. Now I know how other YouTubers feel. <laughs> Um, but like I said, I'm going to go in with the white body paint and kind of start filling in some of the details, um, doing the kind of like outline that it has in white as well. Um, and getting a few things kind of good. Also, shout out to Wolf for making the best white and black ever. You guys can argue with me all you want. I will firmly uh, ignore you. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though, their black and white body paints are freaking amazing. Right after that, I'm going to go ahead and take some of that dark blue body paint one more time. And, well, it's going to be a few more times than one. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and do the dark blue that's supposed to be around the horn for the ram. Um, and I'm also going to clean up a couple things, but that's something you worry about later. One tip though is definitely make sure that the white body paint is dry completely. I mean it's, if you're using um, the same type of paint that I'm using, it's going to be water activated so no matter what it's going to kind of move around a little bit, but you want to give it the least amount of moving room, you know what I mean? So once all of that is put in, I'm going to go ahead and bring back out that white body paint and start doing some of the other details like um, the other part of the outline for the ram's horn and also the face. Now my biggest tip for the face and like everything on the inside of the ram is to kind of, like I said before, think of it more as lines instead of an entire picture. That way everything's kind of broken down a little bit easier and when it gets put together then it kind of looks more like what you wanted as opposed to overwhelming yourself a little bit too early and then crying in a corner like I may or may not have done a couple times. I'm not ashamed to admit that. <laughs> also, for anybody who's curious, um, why is there no gold on this ram? Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, is because I went on Google and looked for the logo for the rams, uh, the latest one, and this is what they gave me. So if it's wrong, you can thank Google because Lord knows I know absolutely nothing about football, but I can draw stuff on my face, so there's that. Don't worry guys, we're almost done, I promise. <laughs> so the last thing I'm going to do is go in with some more of that dark blue body paint 
and clean up any of the white lines that aren't as crisp as I want or like in the case of the ram's eye make it look like there's a pupil in there somewhere and it's not just a blob that I accidentally put there because I didn't. It has a purpose and I'd like it to be known. Um, yeah, this part is really just kind of a cleanup step so if there's anything that you kind of messed up or you want to make sharper, you can take your time and do it here. And I feel like this actually made it look a thousand times better. So if you're ever worried about anything like that, you can always go in and edit your work. And that goes for anything, whether you're doing body paints or you're doing makeup, you can always like take a step back and look at what you're doing and see if that's how you want it to look because if it's not, granted, and you have time, you can always go in and fix just about anything. And once you are done with that, you're basically completely done. <laughs> yep. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed doing this. I have missed doing videos just in general. Um, so if you guys want to stick around and see what is coming up next, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. If you have any requests of what you want to see, leave them in the comments down below for me. And yes, I was feeling myself, so don't forget to give me a big thumbs up for some self-confidence for once. <laughs> Bye!